Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today. I'm in the Raiders playbook. I took a request a little while ago where I basically asked you guys, uh, what playbook did you want me to focus on? What playbook did you want me to make my own? And the Raiders got probably the most votes. It was between the Raiders and the Saints, but I've already done a ton of Saints stuff this year. I'm still going to keep doing Saints stuff, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys that are Raiders followers, that are Raiders fans that use the Raiders playbook, uh, some plays. I'm trying to give you guys some offense. A couple days ago, I put out a scheme. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys missed that one. I think that was a running scheme. I don't even really remember right now. I've already got two schemes out already from the Raiders. Uh, this one's going to be number three. Uh, and then I'm going to probably, I have a lot of stuff I'm going to record right now uh, for the empty tray stack, but that's not the scheme I'm going to do today. That's going to be a scheme that I'm planning to put out down the line. If you guys want to see that, uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But today's scheme is going to be the Gun Bunch TE. This one right here, uh, this one here is a little bit more traditional. I personally like to use a lot of empty backfield stuff. If you guys know, my favorite scheme out of that I probably put out this entire year, one of my go-to formations that I use the most is the Gun Empty Base Flex. I'll try to put a link in the description for that as well and i do intend at some point to make this the playbook that i'm running i just want to flush out some of the passing plays a little bit better because the raiders are definitely one of the best running playbooks in the game and i definitely have a lot of great passing playbooks in my raiders ebook link in the description below but i definitely want to make sure that i have more uh, that suit my style like one of my favorite formations is the tight other uh, than that like i said i'm going to use uh today's bunch to you this is probably going to be one of the best uh, passing formations in this particular playbook and I'm going to show you guys some seriously explosive plays out of this formation uh, But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start off with uh, probably one of the uh, the better plays my personal favorite plays probably the Y stick uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and we'll start off with that. This is going to be one of the first plays that I pick. And now on the defensive side, this can work against a lot of different defenses, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with a cover three. Now before I get into the video, as always, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com. If you guys need MUT coins, you want to get your MUT team up, especially while these promos are going on, check them out. Link in the description below. Uh, and make sure to use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order and let them know that you came uh, from me. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. So there's a couple different ways that I can run this play. I never really understand why cover three is such a popular defense there's so many ways to break cover three i mean i have one play touchdowns i have so many one play touchdowns against just about every defense but against cover three especially because a lot of these plays have to cross the field like when people put out cover three one play touchdowns that have to cross the field i can never really understand that because i don't want to wait in the pocket that long this is going to be something that beats it right up the seam and pretty instantly now the first thing i'm going to do other than motion out the running back is i'm going to put him on a streak put the a route on a streak because all of that is really just designed to keep that cover three safety over there as much as possible me motioning this across motions the safeties the the user has no real control over this motion it's going to happen whether they want to or not they can go ahead and manually override it and move them back to wherever they want but most people don't do that they rarely do that moving this safety is something that people rarely um, seem to do and if you if they are moving them manually you can always make that adjustment last so if I want to make that adjustment last, I would just streak everybody and then motion this guy out last second and the user would have no control over that this the safety is leaving the center of the field which is basically what I want I'm also not in the center of the hash marks where you are in the field will matter you have to kind of run this to the open side of the field a little bit because there is such a thing as a hash marks glitch which i went over in videos in years past but ultimately this is all you're really going to need to do and this y route here will eventually be gone for a very easy one play touchdown against cover three like i said i don't like cover three one play touchdowns across the field i like to beat it right up the seam i'm gonna go to the replay real quick just to show you guys what to look for because if you throw this ball a little bit too early you're gonna run into problems so like i said this guy right here the cornerback will follow him back and like i said based on where you are in this if you're on the center hash marks or you're running it to the short side this cornerback will follow so that's why i said you have to be uh over to, you know you can't be right in the center which right here you can see i'm slightly off center that's something they have to pay attention to when you set this up other than that like i said you're going to see he's just once that cornerback who is following for a time once he peels off to take away this outside uh corner route 
the second he does that, you can throw the ball, essentially. I mean, the second he he changes his focus to these outside receivers, I'm already winding up. I held it for a little bit longer just because I wanted to make sure. And you can see, I don't even have, like, my people might say, well, you got Henry Ruggs running that. We got Nelson Aguilar running that. He's, he's definitely got enough speed to get the job done, but I don't have my fastest receiver there, so that's not really an excuse. You used to be able to do this by motioning this guy out and just streaking the Y route. That wasn't like last year's, man. You'd also have to, like, streak the A route and stuff like that. Two, it doesn't really work anymore, but when you did it like that, it also kind of gave away where you were going. Motioning out the running back actually gives the user a, 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 the wrong signal. They're going to think that you're going to the running back side, which is perfect. So it actually works better like this anyway, based off of the fact that you're you're stretching the defense out and you're giving the user a, a, a you know a misdirection signal. So that's something you can do. I'm actually in a cover four now. I just switched that out just to show you guys that this actually works really well in a cover four as well. Although in that scenario, you are going to want to motion this guy out. Let's move this ball over a little bit because in cover fours, you're going to want the open side of the field based off the fact that I'm going to hit that guy. I'm going to hit that corner route now, so I definitely want the open side of the field uh, to be there. So this would pretty much be the look now uh, against cover four. And this X route here, these guys right here on the outside, they don't do a good job of turning their hips. Once they're in their back pedal, uh, they're pretty much going to get beat. So anytime you have a cover four, uh, both of these cornerbacks are pretty much going to react. I mean, if you really want to, you could also streak the B route just to pull coverage as much as possible. You can give yourself a little check down. You can do whatever you really want with the B route. But really, the read is going to be the X route. And it's like I said, once he's in that break, they just don't turn and run. They're in their back pedal. They're not going to turn and run really well. I'm not sure how many plays I'm going to do in this video, uh, whether it's three, four, I'm not really sure. The next play I'm going to focus on, though, is going to be the curl flat. Now, this is going to be more of a cover two play. Uh, it looks pretty similar as far as the setup. You can see that the corner route's in a different spot. That's about the biggest thing. So let's go and let's pick that. And then on the defensive side, I'm going to start off with cover two because that first play doesn't work out against cover two very well. This particular play does. So this play is really strictly a cover two uh, one play touchdown and there's a couple different ways to run it. The first way that's probably the easiest, I mean all you really have to do is streak the B, streak the B route. That's all you really have to do. If you want to get this Y route here outside of that, all you have to do is streak that B route and you're going to see it creates enough separation that you can really lay that in there uh, where you know where it's designed to be covered cover two because it's a 15 route break or a 15 yard out break from where uh, you know where the other player is probably breaking at about 10 yards. Um, you can smart route the Y route and shorten it, but that's not really going to help here uh, because you want that 15 yards. The other thing you can do is put the X route on a flat. That's also going to help. I'll typically either streak the A route, put them on a drag as a check down, something of that nature. You can also block them uh, because you're really focusing on this side. If you're reading to cover two, you're really going to focus on the cover two side, and you can see how you're going to get outside of that pretty much every time. But there's a quicker way to do this, and I'm going to show you that next. Now, you can also split the safeties, which is something that, um, you know, it's a little bit faster than waiting for that receiver to break just by, once again, motioning out the running back, streaking everybody, and this is basically going to be the look. And now the B route, uh, well, all he has to really has to do is run past the middle linebacker, which most receivers in this game are going to be able to outrun most middle linebackers. Now, the curl flat corner can also have success against cover three the same way. It's just going to do it slightly differently. I'd say, once again, you just want to do the exact same setup. You want to flat uh, rugs, put your, your, your B route on a streak, uh, motion out the running back, streak everybody. And now you just want to put the Y route on a smart route, like I was saying you can do earlier. Doing that is going to pull that cover or that outside cornerback down really fast because he's, ba he's basically breaking out like a five yard out, uh, which is going to basically make him uh, react a lot faster. So now that we have some explosive plays against zones, uh, pretty much every zone we covered, I didn't really cover things like cover six and cover nine and stuff like that. All you really have to do is identify. You can run the cover two play. You just have to identify which side of the, the coverage is a cover two. I don't really have to go over that. I'll show you what I'm talking about, though. I mean, when you when you go against a unique uh, zone like cover six or cover nine, like a cover, a cover nine show two here is a perfect example. Half of that defense is a cover two so you just have to identify which side is the cover two and it'll work against cover two so we basically have a one play touchdown for every zone coverage or at least an explosive play at this point so now we need some man beaters and we have a perfect play for that that play is going to be the pa boot over i said in a previous video that man beaters are any route that breaks twice 
which is exactly what the middle route is doing here. It's breaking twice. That's a great man-beating route, but this is a play that can beat just about anything. So on this particular play, I just want to make sure I have my best receiver here. I really don't. I'm trying not to use uh, Henry Ruggs because obviously his speed is going to really break the whole game. I'm keeping Nelson Aguilar in that spot, but like I said, make sure you have your fastest guy there. So we're going to pick the PA boot over. Then on defense, we're just going to go random because, like I said, this beats every single defense in the game. So all I really have to do to make this play successful is put the A route on a streak i like to motion this guy out from time to time i don't really have to though blocking the running back also just to give me a little bit better pass protection and i also like to put the x route on a uh, smart route once again but once again it's not necessary all you really have to do is streak the a route and block the running back and the rest pretty much takes care of itself the b's a really good check down the y route here is going to be the the money route although i should probably move the ball over a little bit i mean i should give myself as much room to this side of the field as i possibly can i was trying not to but it's going to be important when it comes to completing this pass so once again like i said don't really have to do anything just want to block that running back that's the most important part everything else is pretty much there the check down it's going to be this guy here. I mean, you can steal that pretty much all game. It can be as explosive if the defense drops back as far as they probably would. Like, say your user opponent is dropping back on the deeper route. A lot of times, this this B route here, even though it's a short route, can be a really big catch and run. You can see I'm getting you know close to 20 yards just from that drag. But without a doubt, this is pretty much all you have to do. This is also a really good play against cover four, which I'll show in a minute. It's a cover four one play touchdown. Uh, but like I said, once again, I don't really care for plays that have to cross the field. It takes a long time, but this is a really good play. I can't deny it, especially against things like man coverage. I don't have a ton of man beaters in this particular. I might have to pick a man beater because I haven't actually run into one yet. But you can see, I mean, if I have enough space, I can't get up the sideline there because I'm seeing a lot of cover threes. I can get a cover three one play touchdown out of this um, if, you know, we get a, a, a good look here. Like right here, I don't know what this coverage is, but you can see if I throw that up the field a little bit right there, Tom Bat Matthew just barely misses in. You can score touchdowns with this play. Man zero. If it's man zero, you don't want to you don't even want to put the tight end on a route. If it's man cover one, you don't even really have to either. To be honest with you, uh, those are both defenses that obviously this should have a lot of success with based off of the guy crossing. But you can see even against I mean I almost scored a touchdown there against cover two man. Uh, I just didn't I just ran to the sideline. But you can see how successful this play can be. And then obviously the checkdown still having a lot of success as well. Um, as we're just getting across that and like I said, you can get a big 20 plus catch and run off of that So this is your best play against man coverage whether it's a uh, man or zone It's going to have success But if you have somebody that's running a lot of man You're pretty much gonna have to run this a lot of times this wire out though depending on who you have running it a lot of times the, the, the DB it really depends on how they get a release you really have to watch the release that the Y route gets if he like right there that's a pretty wide release so he beats the jam he's gonna have success but like I said it's gonna work out nine times out of ten and it's also gonna definitely work out best against man cover one and man zero compared to man cover two because man cover two is more of a press defense this is also a one play touchdown against cover four all you have to do really is max pro put your running back and your tight end on a block and then put the Y route on a drag that's all you have to do it's gonna basically flatten out uh, half the field and then you just basically get right over the top uh, to Henry Ruggs here I mean obviously I, I, I still had Henry Ruggs in that spot the speeds gonna help but you're gonna see if we go to the replay uh, those two, essentially the two drags, even though one of which is not really a drag, uh, it's a little bit augmented. These two drags are going to basically uh, flatten out this side of the defense. You can see these safeties react way low, and that's going to create a uh, easy one play touchdown. Once this guy, basically once he gets inside of this safety, since this safety is not turned around, he's not going to be able to catch up with Ruggs, who's fully accelerated. I'm already, you know, basically getting into my throwing motion. The second I see he gets behind the safeties on the other side of the field, I'm basically just tossing it up and we're just getting an easy score bullet pass leading away from the uh, the safeties on the left that he's leaving so I'm going to end the vid there. Uh, the rest of these plays will be on my Patreon or in the ebook link in the description below. Uh, or hit the join now button. All that stuff, you can get the full breakdown of these schemes. Uh, and other than that, like I said, if you guys want to see uh, a full passing scheme out of this empty tray stack, which is also one of my more favorites, make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as well. And other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below